Hello, everybody. Good morning. I hope everybody's day is going great so far. Today, my video is going to be about the McCart sterilizing system here. This is really, really amazing. It has these little tiny glass beads on the inside, and somehow they sterilize your tools. But you always want to make sure that you use clean, hot water. This was clean. I've already cleaned my tools. That's why it looks like this. Um, so I cleaned my tools using very, very extremely hot water and Dawn dish liquid. My preference. You can use any soap you'd like. So I'm going to set that little nasty water to the side there. And I'm going to go in with my tools. My cutting scissors, I use these a lot. So these are gonna go in. Another cuticle scraper. My nail clippers. And I'm gonna put my tweezer man tweezers in. And I use these for cutting cuticles. Um, popping off stones, like all kind of stuff. These are the best tweezers I've ever had. So, this is not going to go down all the way, but you'll see that the light is on and it's red. When it turns green, that's when your tools will be completely sanitized. I highly, highly suggest that you get something like this, or if not this, then put your tools in maybe some boiling hot water, let them sit there for a little while. Make sure that they're clean, scrub them very well. You don't want any germs. No germs, no germs at all. And this should be turning green very soon. I use this once a week, no matter what I'm doing. Like if I'm not doing anybody's nails, just doing my own. If I use these tools in any way, I clean them, I sanitize them. So. I actually think I threw away the booklet. You know what? I did not throw away the booklet. Okay, so I did not throw away the booklet. Here's the box. So glad I still have this so I can show you. So this is the little booklet that it came with. And these are all really things that we don't need to know about. Turn the power on. The red and green lights means the power is on and heating condition. This goes to 250 degrees. 12 minutes. It only needs 30 seconds for sterilizing the product. So, okay, yes, yeah, so I was correct on that. So they have been in there for a lot longer than 30 seconds. So I'm not going to touch them. I'm going to move some of these things out of the way so I can put down. So it's really, really quick. These are hot. Please use something so you don't burn yourself. Scissors. Tweezers. And nail clippers. Please do not go in and touch this. You will absolutely burn yourself. 
you will burn yourself without a doubt. So now I'm gonna go in with the longer ones. I'm gonna go ahead and stick those in there. And for this one, because it has like this plastic coating on here, I'm not sure if that is ceramic or plastic, but let me just try it. Hopefully it doesn't burn it. I'll just check on it in a second. I'm just not going to stick it in there all the way because I don't want to ruin this. I just bought that from Candy Coat. And then I'm going to stick in this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and wait on this. We'll do a couple of seconds. And then when the light turns green, Okay, so there it is. The light is green. So we'll go ahead and remove that. All right. Now for the double-ended ones, Go ahead and stick the end that you did not sanitize into, and then also this little one. So you wanna stick that in. Perfect. Got my morning chai tea, it's so delicious. So now we're waiting for the light to turn green. Go ahead and push that down as much as we can. Ooh, I just wanted to make sure. Oh Lord, that was hot. Okay. It is now green. I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds. I just accidentally touched this, uh, these tweezers. Ooh, let me tell you something, they are hot. Okay. So after that, you want to remove all of your tools. Now this is cleaning any bacteria, germs, anything that may have gotten on your nails. It works very good. The only thing that concerns me a little bit is how hot it gets. And sometimes when you're picking up your tools, um, let me see if I can show you. So like, see how there's an opening here? Sometimes if you're picking up your tools, like the little hot beads can get in there. And see, actually one is right here. Let's put that back. The little glass beads is what sanitizes everything. It doesn't require any water, nothing like that. So let me show you the box. So this is what it looks like on the box. This is everything. So guys, make sure that you're keeping your supplies clean. Um, anytime you do anybody's nails, even if you're just practicing, you don't know what could be like getting on your tools. Don't take any chances. And most importantly, don't use products from people to people. Clean your things off. I think that that is very unsanitary. It's one of the reasons why I've learned how to do nails myself. Um, you'll go to these nail shops and they will clearly use dirty tools on you. No, 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 no. And no again. So this is my video. I'm very, very particular about being clean and I think everybody should be that way. 
who wants to get like green fungus on their nails it's it's not a good look not to mention it's fungus it's fungus guys see you later on my next video likes subscribe and share nail empire you like my opry nails